Hello guys, recently on Twitter I posted about database notifications in Laravel and in this video I want to expand on that with real example. So some of you use Laravel notifications, for example, to notify a user that they are assigned to some task via email, right? And for that you would do something like this in the controller, user notify and then notification class from Laravel. So did you know that in that Laravel notification class you may assign not only mail driver but also database driver like this? then that notification is saved in the database which then allows you to show that notification to that user on the website as internal notification or a message let me show you visually so if i assign some task to that user and i save the task we send the notification and then i'm logged in as that user in another browser in firefox i refresh my dashboard and see on the top right i see number one and the bell with that notification. So this comes from the database in the database table called notifications. We refresh and we have something like this. This is the database table created by Laravel and I will show you that in a minute. But basically we have notification type, the class, who is notified and then some data that you may want to assign. Also important, red add. Is it processed or not? And this is the thing. If I click mark as red, then that becomes red with timestamps and in the blade navigation let me show you that in the header blade we have this this is live wire starter kit with flux so this is auth user notifications unread count so this is for showing the number zero or one and then also for each or for else of notifications you may add divs and then add in this case flux button one button is to show the notification or show anything related to that notification and another button with form to update the notification to be read in this case in the route we have route put to mark notification as read like this for that all to work in the user model we need to add trait notifiable nothing really more to change in the user model and also with the database table if you take a look at the official documentation one of the prerequisites is to run this command which will create the migration for notifications table and you need to run it yourself and to define the structure for those notifications you need to in that notification class define to array or to database both would work and while scrolling the docs, I also realized that there's unread notifications instead of separate eloquent modifiers. So I can change notifications unread to just this probably. Let's refresh if there's an error. No, there's no error. So that would be another potential syntax option. Another application of this database notifications is actually in Filament. So Filament uses database notifications of Laravel with pretty cool slide over with the numbers so styling with more functionality and i have a separate video about that on my second channel filament daily there's database notifications in action so if you want to see how it works in filament i will put the link to that video in the description below subscribe to both channels laravel daily and filament daily to get more tips on both that's it for this time and see you guys in other videos